Well, Ruta has a lot of music incorporated into the film. So creating a music video um, was a great idea, uh, but there ended up being two versions, a director's cut and the agency cut. We as the producers of the movie wanted to do something that related more to the movie. And then uh, Ilse's management thought, you know, maybe, maybe we want to create another version that emphasizes more of uh, Ilse as a performer and as a singer. So both, both uh, versions I, I thought were very good. Obviously, I'm a little more biased to the director's cut because I felt um, that version was um, told the story a little bit better. You know, it was, it was designed to, um, to promote the movie and the artist. Uh, and I think it did a great job. Um, the agency cut was okay, but um, my preference is the uh, director's cut. In being an independent filmmaker is sometimes a bit of a challenge because you don't have a, a lot of money, so you have to make the best of <laughs> what you have. And you need to have people wearing more than one hat. Yeah, well, I'm used to wearing multiple hats uh, as DP and um, camera operator sometimes uh, and helping out with the grip and lighting. Uh, it's all for the art, you know, and, and uh, as, as the director of photography for the movie, Ruta Madre, I also wanted to make sure that the music video was done uh, to the best of our abilities, and I think it turned out well. I mean, Mario Ortiz and, and uh, Cinema Verde Productions, they, they've always uh, been very supportive of, of all the projects that, you know, we've, we've tried to do, so we do the best with what we have, and sometimes, you know, it, it even looks really good because it's important to know what you're doing, so not always investing a lot of money is going to give you the best quality, but people that know what they're doing, and uh, so that, that's a bit of a challenge when you're an independent film producer. Ruta madre. the same as yourself.